G'day my friends, Marty Ware here from Marty's Garden and YouTube. Look, I've got a maize worm farm here and I'm going to show you in simple steps how to set up the most simple worm farm ever using a maize worm farm. Now you can copy this system for lots of different worms, no problem. Uh, this is just one way to do it using the maize worm farm. And look at these beautiful healthy worms here. Look at that guys. Yep. That is a maize worm farm set up, ready, rolling, and happening just for you. You can do it too, really easy. Keep watching the show, guys. 11 simple steps to get into production. So, step one is prepare your cocoa peat bedding. As you can see here, that's already been soaked. So one block makes quite a lot of cocoa peat, right? And then step two is we need to line our tray worm farm with some newspaper or cardboard. And then what we do for step number three is pour all this into our worm farm. So I'm gonna get all this nice and moist cocoa fiber or cocoa peat whatever you want to call it into the worm farm here now this is the top tray so it doesn't matter so much if you're doing two trays you can't fill it up too high but basically what we're doing is we're starting a worm farm today and so nice and full and then nice and level beautiful so step number four you should grab this material be able to squeeze it you see a few drops coming out of it, you know it's perfect. If not, add a bit more water to it. Now mine is nice and wet, so I'm not going to add any more water. Step number five is to release the compost worms, which I've saved here, into the worm farm. So what we're going to do here is release them in to the worm farm. Now... You need at least 500 minimum to start off a worm farm. So step number six. Now, if you've been skipping the video, make sure you go back and watch all these steps, right? Because you don't want to miss any part. Now, the part is, is just adding a little bit of food at first. I've had some banana peel here. Now, they like this. They get a lot of sort of sugar foods from it, carbs and things like that. It breaks down pretty quick and it's a great food source to first start off with. So step number seven is not to feed, overfeed your worm farm. That is super important, right? Just don't do it. You will actually create problems at first. You need to let these worms start to settle in, especially when you've used brand new coconut fiber like this. Now, when I added this little bit of compost, that went with the worms there is some biology in there and it'll spread through this material over time as the bacteria and the good microbes start to develop on the food it's the bacteria and the microbes that the worms are feeding on so make don't make that mistake guys underfeed at first so you're part of the way through the steps of this video and you're probably wondering well what do i do once my worm farm is successful, how do I harvest them and get them out, start a whole new worm farm? How do I do that? How do I set up new trays and take care of my worm farm? Well, I've got a course inside my members area, the level three worm wranglers members area. There's a link in the description and you can go right there, watch the video, how I actually take the worms up and set up a whole new maize worm farm and also all this other stuff of setting up worm farms, collecting worm teas, making castings, all that type of stuff. It's all there, right there for you inside the Worm Wranglers members area down in the description down below. Now keep watching the video guys because you need to learn how to set this worm farm up to get started. So step number eight. This is sort of optional, but I recommend highly that you do it. You just get a bit of old wet newspaper. This has just been lying around out in the garden. I did that on purpose in the rain. And you just mix up like a, so it's like a leaf litter. Just sort of covers the surface a little bit. And they will get in there and sort of move around in that. They just like coming up to the surface and crawling around into dark things. And they really love this type of cardboard 
that you can see here uh, this corrugated stuff it's got a corn starch in it and I think they like the food and to sort of move through it so you know I don't have enough I need to probably get a little bit more I've got another one here that I can rip up and so this is step number nine this is some newspaper here which I'm creating as a blanket you can use some <laughs> newspaper this is cardboard and this will make a blanket and again this is old material that I've just left out in the rain and it will cover it and create nice and dark for them they'll just love this step number 10 now worms need a grit right they're a bit like a chicken where they have the grit sort of sauce in their neck well they have it in their bellies in their gut it helps them process the food so anything like a fine crushed eggshell uh, a little bit of sort of rock mineral sort of stuff if there's a bit of rock dust in the material that'll do it as well or you can use a bit of old coffee grounds but the ultimate really is some broken down crushed up eggshell that you can do in the mortar and pestle or find some way to just grind into a powder and put it around in the food you only need to do that every now and again and that will be enough grit for them and it'll help them process it they're just much healthier in a new startup farm like this if you do that within the first few days. Step number 11, place your worm farm in a nice position away from hot sun and fluctuating temperatures and cool breezes. And if you really wanna learn worm farming fast, check out the link in the description and become a worm wrangler. Yeah, in the worm wranglers members area, level three. You'll just love it. You'll learn everything you need to know. There's multiple courses in there and it's way cool. Everyone loves it when they get in and join and become a worm wrangler. And hopefully I'll see you there. All right, have a great day. Happy worm farming. And we'll see you at the next video slash vlog live show real soon. Bye for now.